Welcome to Los Angeles Lakers News Today. Before we dive into this fascinating story, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on the latest Lakers updates. Let's get into it. Imagine the shockwaves that would have hit the NBA if LeBron James had been traded to the Golden State Warriors. This was more than just a wild rumor. It was a real discussion before the 2024 NBA trade deadline. The thought of LeBron in a Warriors jersey alongside Stephen Curry almost seems unreal, right? But it nearly happened. LeBron has deep ties to Los Angeles, both on the court and in his personal life. But the Lakers have not always provided him with the support he deserves. The roster hasn't been championship caliber for a while now. The Warriors, however, presented a golden opportunity for LeBron to possibly finish his illustrious career next to another all-time great, Stephen Curry. The idea of these two legends teaming up is something basketball fans have dreamed about for over a decade. Even at 39, LeBron still has what it takes to help a team win a championship. While he has Anthony Davis by his side, the hypothetical of LeBron and Steph sharing the court is a fantasy that many have entertained. They've been rivals, but who hasn't wondered what they'd look like as teammates? This summer, we got a small taste of what could have been when LeBron and Steph led Team USA to Olympic gold. But with LeBron signing a two-year extension with the Lakers during free agency, it seemed like the dream of him joining the Warriors was dead. He's set to stay in LA for a couple more seasons, likely to play alongside his son, and then ride off into the sunset. However, according to NBA insider Mark Stein, the Warriors were closer to acquiring LeBron than anyone expected. The Lakers might have considered the trade if LeBron had pushed for it, but it was Rich Paul, LeBron's longtime friend and the CEO of Clutch Sports, who stepped in to stop it. Paul didn't want LeBron to face the backlash of switching teams for a fourth time in his career. Paul's reasoning? He wanted to protect LeBron from the criticism that might come with another team change. LeBron's career has already seen him play for Cleveland, Miami, and now Los Angeles. Paul didn't want his client to face the kind of scrutiny that Kevin Durant has endured for moving teams later in his career. While it's understandable why Paul made this call, it's hard not to feel disappointed. The idea of LeBron teaming up with Steph would have been a moment for the history books. Yes, there would have been some backlash, but over time, it's likely that fans and analysts would have recognized the greatness of such a duo. So, Lakers fans, what do you think? Would you have liked to see LeBron join the Warriors or do you think staying in LA was the right move? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on your Lakers.